and I want to move first into uh, questions. Does anybody have a question? I have one. Yes, go. So can you speak about in the in the walk-in process when my this last one started with me i became so sensitive and empath empathic like excruciating i ended up picking up diabetes at my mom's house who's diabetic glaucoma blah 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 yep. you speak of those yep. things i shall the actually it's it's i wanted to uh, someday i'll write this article i haven't gotten it out yet to me being empathic, that kind of, all aware beings are somewhat empathic, but there's empathic to the point where you can perceive all kinds of really cool shit. And there's empathic to the point where it pummels you into the ground. That kind of empathic, the disempowering empathic typically means you have multiple beings and, and interference in your body. And that's all I would, I would argue that most of that is walk-in stuff. Once we clear the walk-in stuff, the empathic thing doesn't run you over anymore on a day-to-day -day basis. You can have experiences of tapping into information, if, especially if you work with the planet. You'll be like, whoa, there's all this information and I'm feeling it like, wow, I don't need this. But the, the kind of empathic you get with being a uh, walk-in that's incomplete is you're just run over by everything all the time. Like just everything runs you over. You can't go to a store. You can't be around other people. You're just run over by energies all the time. It's like everything's wide open and you're just flooded with garbage 24 seven. Does that sound familiar, Sky? <laughs> a thousand percent accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Been there, done that. Then it was horrible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so once you clear all the other occupants in the tangles, that that resolves itself, and that is not the issue that it once was. So that thank you work. so much. Yeah. Yeah. So do clear. I have one. Yes. What do you got? Hi. Um. Uh, I'm number seven. And um. Number seven. Number, number six. Number six was um, lived with my husband when he died and um, she was really scared all the time. And okay. um, my whole life I've been like super ridiculously sensitive yep. and um, felt really, 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 really crazy <laughs> and um, quirky and yep. everybody saw me as different. And so I how many too. occupants do you have in your body with you? Right now I have two. Two plus you? Okay. Yeah. There's a, there's a tangle in there. There's a, when you said, I'm nope, totally it got tangled. Heavy. Yes, yeah, yeah, no, totally no worries. Tangled. Cause you've got some of it ironed out. You've got some of it sorted out. You're like, those two well, are no, not this, me. This, this, this happened because I've been working on, I've been doing your work. I had, I had like nine and two of them weren't even really real. And yeah, so like, some of those are, are uh, yeah. Yeah. No, there energies. was like so much. And, and I've cleared so much from working, doing your work. And yeah. so I, I just tested this morning question? and I only have two and, 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 and they're saying it's the number one, which I think it's bullshit. Yeah. That's not right. It's number one, yeah. number two, number two, number three, number four, Number five, there's something around number two, four, five, six, seven. Something's wobbly up top too. That might be a facet. Yeah, I would say four and seven or two and four. I lost yeah. track of my account. Seven, yeah. feels, seven feels solid. Seven feels yeah, like that's the he's you. the one who really wants to be in the body. Yeah. So yeah, so you've, you've already got more of a handle on it than most people do. So <laughs> keep going. You're on it. You're on it. Nice job. But I want to get out of the tangle because well, so, I, so what you want to do is died, three, so I would suggest that you either take the course or to uh, go through the book and like you have the awareness level to untangle this. Okay. It's just a matter of time. You'll untangle it. You have the awareness level to untangle it. Your fracture work is killer. Yeah. So the fracture thing, and I should mention that is fractures. I found out over time are designed for people who have been a walk-in. Um, and I'll talk more about this by email, but if you've been a walk-in and you don't have a lot of complications yet, you get 
kind of crappy blurry stuff and just life is still sucky but it's not that kind of sucky um fractures are for clearing walk-in old crap from walk-in stuff i didn't know this at the time uh but that's what it turns out so yeah that's why it's so useful i have been doing them for like 30 days yeah um and it makes uh, a huge it went difference from like that many to this many and um cool. keep going yeah it's it, you're thank on it you keep going thank you're on you. it cool thanks lynn okay. who else got a question i have a question yeah um everything like really sounds terribly familiar in all <laughs> levels yeah it's just crazy like mm -hmm. i mean about everything pretty much mm -hmm. And um, lately I find out that I have autoimmune disorder on physical level, on emotional level, on uh, energetic level, and on spiritual level. Mm -hmm. Is this related to walk-ins as well? And also second question, how many uh, beings do I have right now? Because I always feel that I don't have sovereignty. They're just like walking through right. me, into me, back, right. forward. Right. And I forgot so, what so it feels you. like I to get be it. So me. I get, I get it. Yeah, no, there's no way of, there's no way of knowing what it's like to be you. Honestly, it's impossible. Uh, is it three plus one or is it two plus one? So it's you plus two others is what it feels like that you have. Um, and I feel more. Your, your first, well, there are other energies. Those are occupants. I'm looking at the other, you have other energies that are pretending to be occupants. But the, the, what was your first question again? I'm sorry. I focused on your second one. I lost my first. first one. Yeah. My first question is about autoimmunity. Autoimmunity. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. That I, yes, I would say definitely. Yes. The, the body literally syncs up to the primary occupant when it's got multiple occupants. What it, if you've ever studied epigenetics, it's the best explanation that I have for it is like, you, you've got your, your genetic switches, but epigenetics are like the fine tuning of those things. And those can be switched on and off during your All life. The time. It's what your body is using to tune you to itself or to tune itself to you. So if it's got multiple things in there that it's trying to tune to, it, it just can't. And it might keep changing its tuning. Yeah, I would definitely say because that's a even factor. Jaden, even my eyes changed. The, I, I have a different face, different yeah. eyes. Yeah. That's not Eye color me. can change all kinds of, it's bizarre. It's bizarre. It's not me. I look in yeah. the mirror and I cannot recognize yep. myself. Yep. You want to get them out. Plus autoimmunity. Plus this, plus yep. that. Wow. You want to get and, them out. And as a question, like how many did they have before? Because it also feels like an army. Yeah. So I want to pause you. Um, and mm -hmm. I, I need to, I need to move on because we keep okay. going and going and going, but the, the, you have occupants and you have, they've invited in, you have, you have, my gut is you have a walk in, slam in, slam in, and they've invited in friends and there's an open door yeah. policy. So you have stuff coming and going. You want to get that exactly occupant out and you want to get all of their friends out. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you yeah, for good exactly questions. I'm just thank you so much because yeah. I was looking for the, these answers for probably like more than eight yeah. years and yeah. I could not find the answers for all that's happening to me. Now you know. Thank you so much. Cool. Anybody else? Questions? Jaden. Yes. Oh, sorry. Kason. Okay. Um, how do you recommend dealing with where you feel like you're ready to 100% let go of the past occupant, but the people that you live with and who care about yeah. you keep looking at you as that person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So part of it is, this is, uh, how do I say it? Part of it is a choice. Like for a while, I'm, I'm pretty good at not getting, I've, I've learned how to not get stuck in relationships and in family. Um, and it took me decades to do that. But the, the concept is how much are you holding on to past parts of you for your family, for partners, for relatives, for friends? And that's a choice. You can stay in that place, but you will never be able to step into you 
if you do. So it becomes a thing where you have to be willing to choose you over the opinions of your family and your friends and your relatives. And that's not Fair. easy or comfortable necessarily, <laughs> but it's, it, that's, for me, that's the choice that was required in order to let go of that. And I, I thank you for the affirmation because that's definitely that point of where I'm at in my life. So it totally makes sense to me. Yeah, it's, it's a, it's a trade-off and there's not a right or wrong. You could live in that old life if you wanted to, like any, any one of you could live in the, the struggle that you've got. It's not wrong to do that, but it's not going to let you be the you, the more aware you that you came here to be. It's not going to let you connect to your purpose, your future, a, a different reality. It, it will stay stuck and either stay that way or get worse. Um, but it's a choice and it, it's not an invalid choice. Just another quick question. Um, are alien slammons always bad? Any slammons is bad, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Walk, uh, 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 shove in or a slammon, wh what, it, what it does is it gives, see, normally your, your body won't ever sync up with aliens um, or gods. So there's, in my, classification two main categories the the gods which are a form of corruption and aliens which are they're just not from here they're another energy that's not participating in this reality your body will never sync up with either of them because it realizes they're not part of this authentic reality but when they sneak inside your body is forced to sync up with them to sync up with an alien is uh talk about autoimmune disorder it's internally destruct destructive because aliens represent um corrupted energies that are antithetical to life here in this planet and so it allows stuff into the body that just is not it, it's ultimately going to tear the body apart in some way shape or form um so you can isolate it, but you can never get it out. It always has more influence and control than you want it to have. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. So normal, like you can have alien stuff that like, if you can be a walk-in and not, you can have cleared all the occupants and you can have an alien in your space and some people may choose to do that i don't have a point of view about it no i do have a point of view you can do that i don't recommend it but you can do that uh, but that will that your body always knows that's separate and it will never sync up with that but if you have a walk-in that's been corrupted it has to sync up with that on some level and that will cause inner corruption okay who else got a question? I oh, Jaden. <laughs> yes, <laughs> hi. Jackie? Yes, hi, thank you. I was wondering if you could help me dial in how many occupants I have, because when I'm asking, it, I get a couple of different answers. And I'm, so I'm wondering if you could help me. So is it three, so is it three plus one? Because when I ask my body, it says that they're not me. I'm yeah. asking, are they splinter parts of me or fractures or... And it says no. So I, yeah. I do muscle so testing. I get, I get three. I get three other pieces in there. And you. And me. And yeah. those pieces. It's, it's blurry. We need to clear and untangle in a way Thank that we you. don't have time here. But it's either, no, I know, I know. It's either two plus one or three plus one. Okay. But you don't have a read on. Okay. That's cool. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. Anybody else? Hey, Jaden. Hi. I have, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, first of all, just wanted to say, um, because you barely talk about this, but I had a personal session with you and together you cleared me out and that's what I needed. Um, and then I could nest into my body. So yeah. 
I would suggest for everybody who just cannot do it on their own, if, if it goes on for a month, to do a personal session with you, if they're aware. Well, I'm, I'm actually avoiding best. doing personal sessions, honestly. I'm, I'm trying to create this group program to right. do it for a larger group of people. So right. I will probably reject personal sessions. Like, oh, wow. I, I, I don't have time in my life to do all the personal sessions that are required. That's why I'm looking for another way to do it. Right. Yeah. I, I, I thought so actually, yeah. but yeah. I still wanted to mention that because yeah. it helped Thank me you. a lot anyway. Um, so my body uh, um, is really happy with my occupant. What came up for me was um, copies and cloning all of yeah. a sudden. Yeah. So that's, that's another level that you're going to want to look at clearing copies and clones. It's not related to walk-ins or, or it could be, but it's not, it's, it's a separate thing. Oh, it's that's not, interesting because so I felt you, really secure in my body. And then all of a sudden, well, why am I feeling out? And I got copies and clones yeah. and I deleted them and removed them. And then I so felt back. You're going to want to terminate them. Terminate. Kill. Terminate. Kill. Okay. So, okay. It's a different energy. Removing still leaves them out there, but you're, they, they can still reconnect to you. You want to terminate them. They're your essence material. You have the say as to whether those stay or go. So you okay. want to terminate them. Okay, thank you for that. Yeah. And another question no, is- No, 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 I, I need to, I need to oh, sure. move on to other sure. people, but thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? Hi, Max, it's Tanya. Jaden, um, hi. Hi, I did some work with Max and yes. removed no uh, an original occupant uh, a couple months ago. Mm -hmm. but it still feels like there's some uh, tangles or complications or possibly other occupants. So just wondering if we could quickly check for that. Yeah. So how much do you have previous occupants? It's right away hiding. Um, how much is there a slam in? How much is there a shove in? I get a slam in. So there's a, uh, there's like this alien. Do you hear alien voices, controlling voices, controlling energies? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, sometimes. They're more quiet in the back. They're quiet. Mm -hmm. in the back. Okay, cool. Um, the so they don't have a lot of control. They're probably looking for ways. So so is their occupant is the is the occupant itself still there? Has the occupant removed? Okay, so the occupant was cleared, but the the alien part is still there. So is that um, how is that done? Is that done across time? Ooh, is that done another way? So uh, yours feels like it's the, the aliens have kind of, uh, wow, how do I say this? Threaded themselves through time. So you want to clear your, uh, your time streams of all the synthetic energies and then banish them. Okay. Okay. So yeah, it's it feels like the walk-ins are cleared, but there's the the little piece of the slam and stuff still left. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. Karen. What a privilege. Thank you. I'm a friend of Max's. Oh, cool. Um, I'd like to ask you, please. I am very new to this. Mm -hmm. And I had something just major happen to me in 2017, and I have had zero ambition for life ever okay. since. Yeah. And I'm wondering if you could just help me with three questions. So of the walk-in, I'll start with that. So how many of those walk-in symptoms did you have? Uh, 13. Okay. So I, that's pretty ironclad, but let's look at it. So uh, ask, uh, so. Truth body, how much is Karen a walk-in? How much is she the same occupant born into this body? Heavier on the second. Yep. And truth body, how much is Karen the only owner of this body? And how much have there been previous owners of this body? Heavier on the second. Wow. And there's a lot of <laughs> owners of the body. Wow. Um, more than five? Less than five, there's hiding in there. Five, six, seven. There's way more going on there there. Yeah, there's five, six, seven, six, but there's layers of stuff. Yeah, um, and truth, 
Uh, Buddy, how many previous occupants owners have there been? One or more than one? That's iffy, but more than one. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I'm going to say probably six previous owners. You, I would guess off the top of my head, you're seven, six, seven. It's blurry. We'd have to untangle it, but somewhere around there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, how much is there baggage Ooh. left? Yeah. Uh, how much do you have uh, previous occupants owners still in the body? Yeah. One, two, three, four, three. I'd say three previous occupants still in the body or or pieces. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're Thank welcome. You. I really appreciate yeah. it. You're welcome. Cool. Anybody else? Hey, Jaden, it's Destiny. Hi, Destiny. Hey. Hi. I was wondering if you could kind of give me a breakdown like that. I know, I know I have the walk-in and I'm definitely dealing with a lot of demons and aliens but I was wondering if you could give me a breakdown. So break it down, break it down, break it down. So um, <laughs> so you know the first part. So uh, how much, uh, do you have baggage in your body from previous occupants? Whoa, crowded. <laughs> um, how much are there spirits of previous occupants still in, in your body? That's interesting. It feels Woo! clear, but I feel so. How much of the spirits of the occupants there? How much of their um, so uh, uh, how much is their walk in or uh, how much is their uh, shove in? How much is their slam in? I feel the alien stuff. Um, the um, but I also feel is this demonic stuff. Yeah, man, that's really tangly. Um, what? Uh, so, yeah. truth, what are all the previous occupant owners still in the body? No, let me ask it this way. So, body, truth, are there spirits of previous occupant owners still in the body, or have they gone? Ooh, there's demonic hiding there. Um, yeah, there's demonic stuff there. Um, the, um. It's covered over. My best guess is that you've removed the, the normal walk-in occupants and is the, is the slamming or shove-in occupant removed or is it still there? Ah, it's tangly. I want to say there's still part of something there, but the, the interference that came in with it is still is definitely still there. So I'd say there's a lot of stuff cleared, but there's still there's still there's still a slam and shove in that's in there. Okay, so, well I'm gonna take the course. So that's yeah. cool. So yeah. how much are the Thank corrupted occupants still in the body? How much have they been removed? Yeah, the corrupted occupants are still in the body, but they're fractional, it's very small. Yeah. 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 So yes, there's still more to clear there. Yeah. Cool. Anybody else? Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Jaden? Yes. Hi, it's Jan again. Hi. Um, it's interesting because the energy's obviously been opening up while we've been talking. So uh, I kind of feel now like there is some demonic energy in there. Could you possibly break that down for me? Uh, I, I totally agree with you. I feel very light when you said there's demonic energy in there. So yeah. is the... Uh, so how much of the spirits of previous occupants still in the body? Yeah. So, um, how much are there corrupted occupants still in the body? Yeah. So you have both, you have, uh, previous occupants and you have a corrupted one, a corrupted a shove in slam in. Yeah. There's something really blurry there. Um, th there's, yeah, there's, there's corrupted occupants as well. Right, that makes sense. Yeah. It would explain again autoimmune disease, and I worked with you on the um, the amino acids, and it turned out I had massive food allergies. So when I adjusted that, the amino acids uh, sort themselves out, and now I've got osteoporosis, and and no real reason for it. Yeah, um, that makes yeah. a lot of sense. There's the 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 amount of weird random body shit that occurs when you have multiple occupants in is bizarre. Is absolutely bizarre, and like there's a lot of it. Yeah. 
let's get the occupants out that that that's going to make the biggest difference is yeah. getting those other occupants out great thank you yeah you're welcome you. yeah anybody else Jaden. yeah Jaden, this is spring um we did a huge clearing and it was tremendously helpful and assisted me although i feel like is there demonic stuff still with me what there's something that's going on or is it my awareness of other people's you're asking good questions <laughs> <laughs> because I feel like I'm clear, but then I'm like, but then it feels like it's mine. And I, it's like, I buy it as mine. And I yeah. somewhere it's like, yeah, but I know it's not. So yeah. So truth, how much is that your stuff? How much is that authentically your, in your local point of view? How much is that someone or something else is distant yeah. or foreign point of view? Someone or something else is someone distant or, or, else foreign. Is distant or foreign. But, yeah. 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 So how much is that your son? How much is that someone yeah. else? I would say yeah. it's your son. It's yeah. my son. Yeah. I got, I got, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Jaden? Yeah. I, I have a question. Yeah. Can, um, can these uh, occupants manipulate our environment in other words like things that keep going wacko in my home and my you know just my basic life is just so disruptive it, it can is that like an outside force or is that an inside occupant that's i mean is that possible yo yeah, oh, totally both are possible uh, actually both both are, both, both are both are likely um but the so how much of this is an inside force wow how much is the outside force? Yeah. So the thing that people don't get often is that when you have a previous occupant that chose to die, its focus is to get out. And it's, it's not about, um, it's not aware and it's not capable of being aware in, in many cases, depending on how far back it went. And its sole focus is how do I get out? How do I die? And on days when it's up front, because body keeps taking turns, some days you're up front, some days that one's up front, it will do everything it can to sabotage your reality, to actually <gasps> attempt to get the body to die, to attempt to cause accidents to cause death. It, it, it's committed to death. And so it will, it will do all kinds of things to sabotage your body and sabotage creation it will use every access it has to try to take down the body and to take down yeah. the life wow thank you because that's i mean i, I mean Sounds from familiar. accident yeah so familiar it's like yeah. okay why did that just happen to me and like you know accidents that keep me from functioning and just and yep. diseases and yep. all of that stuff that's yep. just amazing to it's, me um, it's bizarre shit Absolutely. It is. It's but it explains so much. That's what's so yep. powerful. And and what you just explained to me, I just want to tell you, I was feeling like I can't even get off this call. I feel so sick to my stomach. And like I can't I, I was feeling like, what am I gonna do? My body, I don't feel functional. How am I gonna live yeah. from tonight till I can get this cleared? <laughs> I mean, that's how I was feeling. Yeah. I'm yeah. serious. So awareness, awareness does that. It's like aware things that you've accepted before. Once you become aware, you may be like, oh. but let the, thank you for bringing it up. Let's, let's do some general clearings. So what is everything that's upper active that we can just clear or change or choose differently? Whoa. And can we put all that in the pile? Yes. I yeah. I choose that. that. And oh, in the pile that. and way out front. So when you put it far enough okay. out, you feel body kind of relax. There you go. Yeah. Yep. And out front. And um, mm -mm. what is, what other things kind of grab for everybody else? What is everything that prevents? Okay. So what is it? What's interesting about this? is and uh, uh, probably a key piece of information that is useful for everybody will go deeper in the course but a, a key component and again it's also in the the ebook if you have not read the ebook and you're not going to take the course do look at the ebook like the ebook is written and designed to help you untangle so please 
look at that ebook. It's it's powerful stuff. But one of the key viewpoints in there is you as the last occupant of the most recent occupant of your body are the only one that has the legal rights to your body. So think about it as a house. Let's say that you you had a physical house and somebody sold you the house, but they never moved out. They left all their baggage in the house and they never moved out. I know, and you cry. They're, they're this living. is my body. I'm going to mute you there. Um, and so it's like they, they're they still living in your house, in your body, uh, and they didn't move out. They're like, just ignore me, Abby. I won't, I won't be too difficult with you. Like just, but you can't move in and it's not your house. And you're like, ah, oh, this is not really my house. They still live in there, but you own the deed to that house. You know, from a housing perspective that that's your house and you have the right to kick them out and they don't belong there and neither does any of their garbage. It belongs out of your house. Your body is the exact same way. You are the only one that has the authority to say what goes at that house. They can pretend that they do. And when they're on the days when they're more to the, the front, that this viewpoint may be less accessible to you, but it's still true. But days when you're to the front, that's your day to go, no, I'm in charge and everyone else is going out. Yeah. And it's like, you are the only one who has say. They only have as much say as you give them. If you give the squatter in your house the right to stay there, they're only there because you gave them the right. As soon as you revoke that, and as soon as you kick them out, they no longer have any rights to be in that house whatsoever. It's the exact same with your body. Okay. So what is where is everywhere you've been tricked into giving other occupants or other alien or demonic energies access to your body and it does not, they don't deserve access to your body or you don't choose it anymore. And all that in the pile. Whereas everywhere you've been tricked into giving access to other, other, other beings or other even aspects of you that do not deserve ask, do not deserve access anymore. Wow. And all that in the pile. And everything from down below. And I'll, I'll do a final clearing on it. What is everything else remaining that's upper active? That's anyone, anything that's, what is everything that's causing discomfort in the body? Because I don't want to leave anybody feeling discomfortable. Uh, what is everything that's upper active, anything funky, anything weird, anything that's obnoxious, just kind of push all that in the pile right here, right now, encapsulate in the pile and further out. So that body lets it go. And everything from down below and everything from back behind, all the historical stuff, all the stuff from the past, just bulldoze that in the pile. Uh, that's as a walk-in you learn to let go of your past or you're eating shit that's just kind of the way that works all of it in the pile let it go let it go let it go everything from up above from way out front like future everything from the left everything from the right everything from inside your body head to toe strip it out in the pile everything you've stored in the planet in the pile and encapsulate it all and tell your body and planet, body, planet, let all that go. Not you, not yours, not you, not yours. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Never was yours, never was yours, never was yours. Let it go, let it go, let it go. That feels better for some of you. For some of you, it's not. If it, if it hasn't like relaxed, then uh, say, body, you have my permission to let all that go and do it now. And planet, you have my permission to let all that go and do it now. And then can we shrink everything there down to less than nothing? Yes, I choose that. Yeah, thank you. I choose that. And half, 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 just half smaller, 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 smaller. So it gets so small, it ceases to exist. Less than nothing. No, no. 
And then anything remaining, we're going to incinerate with balls of flame. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> One of the things that I think is different about my perspective or my viewpoint and what I've learned as a result of my life experience and being a walk-in is what if the truth of who you are and everything you require is already inside of you already, but what you have is all this other baggage and garbage that is not you. My interesting point of view for aware beings is it's just about letting go of all the not you. And then what's left is you. It's not about going out to somewhere else and bringing in more of you. It's about letting go of all the crap that's not you and being able to differentiate between what's yours and what's not yours. And as I say in the ebook, if it feels crappy, it's not yours. Because what feels good to you is you. You feel juicy and vibrant and exciting and fun. That's you. Anything that's authentically you is going to have those energetic qualities about it. It doesn't have to be a loud, exciting. It can just be a comfortable, like, yeah, I'm happy with my life. This is really cool. This is the best life I can imagine. All right? That's you, authentically you. When you're in a, oh, my life sucks, I hate it, nothing's right, that's not you. All of that is crap that's not you. And it, you just get rid of all of that stuff. And I say it, <laughs> it sounds simple, it's not simple, but if you use that as your filter, if it feels shitty, it's not yours. If it feels uncomfortable, it's not yours. Let it go. And you, you want to keep striving to get back to the part of you that feels good. That's you. If it feels good, it's you. If it doesn't feel good, it ain't you. Out. Let it go. So. Right. Can I ask a question? Yes. Ask a question? Yeah. yeah, cool. Um, well, I, I, I know I had like two brain concussions that were kind of big. One was six years old and I definitely lost consciousness for a day or two. So I kind of, I haven't read the ebook yet, but I know at least two um, kind mm -hmm. of walking experiences. Yeah. But what we checked with kinesiology is that um, I'm the sixth, <laughs> sixth generation. It's like, um, yeah. So yeah, um, if, if you tune in, what else do you get? Kind of connection, connected especially with my sovereignty and my connection, like other influences, aliens, demonic, whatever. Yeah, so uh, do, 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 do. I want to check. So truth body, are there spirits of previous occupant owners still in the body or are they gone? What do you notice about that? I get yes, yeah. Yeah, this, yes, which one? The first one or the second one? First one, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's still stuff there. Uh, is there baggage still in the body? Yes, okay. Um, uh, so body, truth, are there corrupted occupants, shove and slam in, in the body, or have they been removed? Well, it's, I, so have there ever been corrupted occupants in the body? So it, it feels like a definition thing. I don't mm. feel it for you at the moment. I feel interference in your reality. I do feel alien stuff in yeah. your reality. I do feel more distant stuff. God, <laughs> I definitely God like, stuff. You know. But the, the, I don't feel it as being um, worked into your core the, okay. as well, in a walk-in. It's interesting because like my whole my whole purpose and mission and stuff like that and service is all about guidance and sovereignty and helping others with theirs. But that's sure. my biggest challenge in a way of being totally sovereign at sometimes and other times being kind of feeling maybe lost or like how the hell can I trust it and who's in charge? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's the paradox we live in, isn't it? <laughs> my life was yeah. the same. It's like, yeah, I'm, it's, it's like, but who do you want to go to? It's like the person who's not manipulated at all or has very little manipulation. Do you want to go to that person for help? Eh, they don't necessarily have a clue. They're going to go, oh, no, you're healed. Okay, go on with your life. You're, you're all fine now. Somebody who's been deeply, deeply, deeply manipulated, they know. <laughs> so, like, you become a skilled person at 
and helping other yeah. people because you've been there, done that. Um, you're, hell, you're already just joined the party, might as well. Uh, yeah, but it is, it is like if you look at it as a process of your personal becoming aware and getting more clear and more clear mm. and more clear and more clear. And does it ever get perfect? I hope so, but at the rate... The world's going at the moment. I don't know. We'll find out. But the, it's like you're, it's a process. And along the way, you can help other people who are not as far along in the process. So, so who's, who's in charge, really? Because you mentioned owner, you know, I'm the current owner, but, but who's really in charge? The, the most recent occupant is the one who, think about it, it's like you could have had a house that had five people who bought it. The last person with the deed to the house, the fifth occupant, is the owner of the house, and they're the only ones who have a controlling interest, have a say in what happens to that property. So there's the not really a consistent, a consistent I or me in that process, not necessarily. Um, well, definitely not. If you've had walk-in, it's, there's no consistent about it. It's constantly varying. But that gives you a perspective that consistent owners never had. If a person has always lived in the same house, all they know is that life and that house in that one location. People who move and try different houses in different countries, they're very worldly. They have a lot of perspective. The same thing with having multiple occupants. You become very worldly. You have a lot of different perspectives. So what is from your experience with, with you know, yourself and other people you, you've worked with, like what's the percentage of... of because you say, you know, another aspect of, of the me or the soul or the self of the awareness or consciousness. So what is the, pers- what is the percentage of, of kind of consistency that, you know, you get another aspect of your soul or something changes, but it's still the same throughout your life for a walk-in and others that are just totally inconsistent, just changes all the time. That one's hard to answer because it depends on your point of view. When, mm. when, when I had... Uh, a swap. Okay. So it's another piece of my same oversoul brought Mm. in. It felt to me totally freaking different, like not even remotely the same, but then when that integrated for a while, all of a sudden it, it was really the same it's like oh that really is the same me it's just a bigger perspective of me and so it depended on how i looked at it what i saw so if somebody who's in the middle of a transition it could be very dramatic but it's not actually as dramatic as it may seem does that make sense I guess. Depends on your perspective. <laughs> it depends on your perspective. Yeah. So it, it's like if, if it's very different and it stayed very different, but you resolved all the issues. So mm. if a person had resolved all of their walk-in issues and their life became extraordinarily different and they, yeah, they were a geeky technology person and then they went off to live in the mountains and him and whatever sing in himalayan or whatever uh, it's like if you have a very radical thing and you've cleared everything well then that was probably a very different being and that is just very different but anytime there's a change it feels very different compared to what you're used to but the more changes you have the more familiar the concept of change is Hmm. and the less significant it becomes Hmm. the Hmm. best i can do for answering that (laughs) (laughs) does that help thank you yeah yeah thank you (laughs) yeah you're welcome cool anybody else I have a question. This is Sky. Hi. I I believe my last walk-in was 12 years ago. I have never worked so hard on my life just to stay alive without realizing it was walk-in. I was thinking it was mind control at first because 
and I, I couldn't get a handle on anything. So I just kept doing the work. I'm wondering if you could look at me and tell me where I need to focus to finish this up. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, so you're clear that you're a walk-in. Yes. Not? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, um, body truth, how much is there baggage from previous occupants still in the body? I'm or how sure much there is, is. The, how much is the baggage gone? Yeah, gone is how uh, so there's you know, still I I never looked at it from another occupant standpoint. I was looking at it in parallel lives, past lives, this life, but so, I never addressed so a way of, the a way of looking at it is it's not in your frequency. So it's kind of like even even like uh, people will hang on to people's get, like previous occupants like magical toys but they require that occupant's frequency in order to operate those toys so you have to always stay not you in order to use their toys so it it's like all the baggage is becomes a trap because it's all reminding you and holding you in the place where you're being not you. So that's, yeah, that's a trap. And, and so you're saying I need to address occupant baggage. You need to let it go. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You need to clear all the, all the previous baggage you want to get, yeah. you want to just call up all the baggage that belong to previous occupants. Even if you're accepting it or claiming it, anything that belongs to them, get rid of it. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and then let's check. So how many of the, uh, so truth body, are there spirits of previous occupants still in the body or are they gone? Uh, oh, yeah. I get, yes. They're still in the body. Yeah. And truth body, are there corrupted occupants still in the body or have they been removed? They're still there. Yeah. So you have, you have a shove in slam in that occurred. There's a corrupted a occupant. big one. There. Yeah. 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 Does that help? It's absolutely helps. Thank you so cool. much. You're welcome. Yes. Anybody else? Jaden, I just want to comment on what you just said. The thing about the old old occupant or the former occupants' toys, and I I took that also meaning magical abilities and capacities and all of that, but they don't match anymore because yep. you're right. If you're not in that frequency anymore, you're not gonna. They don't work the way they used to, and it's yep. frustrating. And you can't become who you are now. You got it. Brilliant. Thank you so much. You got it. You got it. You nailed it right on. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's Jaden, can I have a? Yes, Olga. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Yeah. Can you please uh, check on my demonic and aliens because okay. I've been spent so, a few years. Yeah. So, truth. How much uh, are there previous? So, truth body. How much are there spirits of previous occupants or owners still in the body, and how much are they gone? What do you get? In the body. Yeah, I get in the body. Hang on, hang on I'm having issues with my air conditioner it turned itself off for some reason and it got rather warm stop okay um and so truth body are there corrupted occupants still in the body or have they been removed in the body oh yeah yeah <laughs> that is strong energy in there uh how much is it shove in how much is it slam in yeah i get i get more in the alien side of it Sla uh which one is the alien one? so slam in oh yes i got it too the last one yes yeah yep so you're right on you got it okay thank you not that you wanted it <laughs> but, but you <laughs> have like more, really you have more truth <laughs> now <laughs> it, it can explain yeah. a lot of weirdness stuff like when yeah. i had when i had that in in, in the body it was like having a controller dominator in my body that was just felt like hopeless to change. There was just no possible way that I could change it or kick it out. I felt powerless to do anything about it. Um, yeah, I feel absolutely the same. I feel totally powerless, controlled by some stupid ideas yeah. pattern that is not even mine. Yep. And it's just and it's, and feels it's all like of, you don't belong to yourself. Yeah, and it's all a manipulation that causes it to even 
be possible to have it still there. And once you kind of, for, for a lot of this, just clearing the original source occupant, separating the manipulation from the original fraction piece of occupant, clearing the piece of occupant, then seeing how it's the blurring of them together that makes it confusing. You have to separate the two of them and then it becomes obvious or more obvious what to do to clear them. Yeah. Thank you, Jaden. Yeah, you're welcome. Anybody else? I have one more question. Yeah. Um, okay. So when when the this the statement about when when the other walk-in leaves and they had all these gifts and things, how do we know whether Okay, so I have a question because I used to be a healer and now I have found that I can't do that and the yeah, things that I used tangly. to be able to do, yep. I can't do. But how do I know that that's because I'm still trying to well, the reason so like okay, I have so a dog who's really sick and it's yes. not working anymore. So and I, how do I know if so it's let not me pause you. Let me pause okay. you. I get it. So there's a, there's a variety of things going on there. When you have multiple occupants going on. So how do we say it? The way previous occupants used to do healing doesn't work for the new occupant. The new occupant has a completely different way of doing it. So if you try to do it the way you used to do it, it creates strange results. Um, and it just generally doesn't work. So the other thing you've got going on there is the complication of all that makes it that you take in and everything gets so tangled that it becomes um, like hellacious to work with clients. Like it's just not, it's, it just all becomes really nasty. So some of that is the having the other occupants in the body. You, you strip that out and that gets easier. Two, having when the new occupant comes in, you have a completely different way of doing things. You don't lose what you had before, ever. You have a different way of approaching it because you have an expanded awareness and expanded toolkit. And so you can't, not can't, you won't be effective necessarily doing it the way you did it before. Does that help? Yes, that helps a lot because I completely stopped everything. I don't do anything because of all that, what you explained, but yeah. you, but then that the new, okay. Yes, that was very clear. And I feel, wow, that was nice. Thank you. Yeah. That welcome. information was very, yes. Awesome. Thank you yeah. so much. You're welcome. Cool. Thank you for that question. That explained a lot in mine too. Thank you so much. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. I have one. If you, yes. You have time for one more? Yeah, I do. Um, yeah, before um, the walk-in three years ago, I, I was a prolific artist. Mm -hmm. And I was right about to just really dive off into like the career most artists ever dream of. Mm -hmm. And um, my husband died and then I like had this walk-in and um, all of a sudden I, my art, like all these galleries I'm hooked up with, Mm -hmm. They don't know who the fuck I am. <laughs> right. Yeah. I don't even know who I am. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I'm making this art that is like so different. And so, and well, at first I felt, re I felt like I was going to vomit when I walked up to the canvas to mm -hmm. make art. I just mm -hmm. felt like revulsion. Yeah, Cause you were trying to do it the old way. Yeah. Yes. No. And thank you for what you just said, because I know I'm an artist. I know I am. I just know it. It pause. Like I have pause. had those moments where pause. I've been like pause. time out. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, sorry. That right there, for anyone who's listening, there's there's a thing where I said that they keep re-anchoring in their they keep retelling an old story, but oh, no yeah. emotion to it. That's what that feels like right there. It's like I yes. know I, I know I am. And for the rest of us, we're kind of going, mm, doesn't even read. No. No, not getting it. Um, but it's no, I know I am. I know I am. It's it's that's the energy of trying to hang on to the past. Oh, so, I had true. this feeling like, so, like I thought yes, I was an artist. So but well, yeah, and that felt light. <laughs> you did. You thought you were an artist, and that felt light. 
Um, so truth, how much is the most recent occupant an artist and how much is the most recent occupant something else? Do you feel that? <laughs> and then what am I? That's the question. <laughs> that's a very good, that's the right question. So what often happens is when, especially if you're successful at something, like you have this thing that you were successful at, and then there's the change. Like I was a successful technology teacher and I kept trying to do technology, but there's, I wasn't interested in it. I was like, oh, don't make me do this. I don't want to do this. Can I do it? Yeah. Yes. Do I want to do it? No, there's no part of me that wants to do it. There's an inner resistance to doing geeky technology stuff. I'm like, let somebody else do that, right? Not my thing anymore. So it's like who you are, the new you, once you let go of the old pieces of you, will always have an artistic reference to things and will always have access to artistic expression, but it'll be different than the previous occupant had. You'll have so you a should different... see the difference in my art. It's crazy. Uh, yeah. My, my yeah. galleries are going, who are you? Yeah. But the, the, the catch is that the, as long as you're trying to express, do it the old way, you're... The first few years, it was very painful to try to do it the old way. Bingo. And I had all these shows and so much pressure Bingo. and I was freaking out. And, and this pandemic is like the best freaking thing that ever happened to me yeah. because it gave me this like year Space. to just go, what the hell am I? Yeah. So the, what, what my, so the part of you, there's a part of you holding desperately on to art, artisan and yeah. that part is holding on to the, all the old baggage is that the spirit. The spirit in there too. So it's like you're holding on to the baggage and the spirit of the past. So it doesn't allow the new to fully bloom and step in. So there is a horribly awkward period in between where you, you let go of the past and then it's like, so what am I? Who am I? I spent my whole life for this section of my life being this and finding success and value and everything was related to this. And all of a sudden it's gone. Now what? Yeah. What, yeah. Who am I? What am I? What do, what do I do now? And that is a very, very uncomfortable and discordant yeah. and just it, it harsh space of life. But as you, it, what it's about is letting, it's a space to let go of the past and then okay to allow yourself to uh, be, be present to the future of what is wanting to express. It's still, it doesn't mean it won't be art. It means it won't be like that. It won't be that expression. What it will be, who knows? It, right. It, uh, you, it sure what, has changed, I gotta say. But yeah. uh, can I say one more thing? When sure. I, um, uh, I was like, mm, I was about 30, 40 days into working, doing the your work, you know, mm -hmm. just like daily, like mm -hmm. really diligently. And I felt a complete rise up and I felt almost like an attack. Mm -hmm. uh, I, my Instagram got cloned. Mm -hmm. that's like seven years of marketing as an artist mm -hmm. was and they and they pulled it it's gone yeah like all of it it's gone yeah so <laughs> and, and how know, much would... yeah so um you so how much is that how much is their internal interference going on that created that how much is their external interference going on created that what do you get? I get external. I asked you but... first. <laughs> <laughs> so say you know the other what? one. Um, so you said you external, say the other one. The internal was my fear of attack. 
So internal feels light. So if you have the previous occupant in there and it's trying to get out, it's actually trying to destroy the past. Yes, so my you worst let go enemy. of it. Yes, my own worst enemy, myself. Yeah. Yes. So you're you're that inner artist that you're Sabotage. desperately trying to hold on to is desperately trying to take down you and your body and your reality and your life so it can get out. Fuck. You feel that? Sorry, excuse me. You feel it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, you know what I decided though? I decided I, I, it, it felt like, like, oh, identity theft and then, you know, oh, I felt really raped, but. Um, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it, the, it's terrifying. It's, it's, but, it's um, the whole thing is it is a convolution tangle, but I want to say at the bottom line, it, you, <laughs> you, you need to get these other spirits out or okay. weird stuff continues to ex happen and they get better at it. My experience with it, they get better at messing with you. Like well, I have, we have spaces to be where I would have quick, weird like accidents and things. Like <laughs> you want to get them out. Get I'm them getting out. it. Yay! Yeah. Cool. I have one one last question. Okay. One so let me let me just say this. Oh. Um, I know I said that I'd stay on a long time, but I didn't realize that I didn't eat enough. I didn't eat breakfast, oh so God. I don't know that I can do a long time. But um, but yeah, go for it. What do you got? What's your take on the spiritual interference and the physical manifestation of parasites and worms in the physical body? Okay, so I'm going to say that's a completely different topic, and I'm going to say I'm not going to talk about it here. It's not a walk-in question. So uh, yes, oh, it's an okay. issue, and yes, there's all kinds of stuff, and we could spend a whole hour talking about that, but I, I'm, I'm going to say I'm, I'm going to stick to the topic here. So okay. yeah, thank Jayden, you. Can I ask a question about the course? Jayden, oh. Yeah, of course. Um, I'd be quite interested in doing a facilitator's course, mm -hmm. but I'm not, uh, access isn't one of my modalities. Is that a problem? Yeah, no, no, this is not for access people. And what I do isn't access anymore. It's flavored by it, but it, uh, this is not access. It's for healers, facilitators of any flavor. Actually, I don't care how you clear or invite people to let go my thing is I want you to see how these patterns are built up, how they're installed, how they lock people down, that you can use whatever you use to change it for people. I don't care how you change it or clear yeah. it or do whatever. I just want you to see how it is that you can change it. That, yeah. Okay, great. Thank you. Does, does that help? Yeah. 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 Thank yeah. you. And, and what I do for facilitators is basically you're going to be with us. You're going to see me facilitate individuals. Uh, so th there's calls where there's where both calls happen at the same time. Um, but I'm fo focused first on the participants and clearing them. And then we have separate calls for facilitators to go deeper into what was going on. How is that going? And then we'll do. Uh, I give you other additional resources as a whole other ebook that you get that breaks it down into detail and gives you outlines and cheat sheets and stuff that help you to work directly with your clients in however you do it, but shows you what the core components are. So, yeah. Thank you. Cool. Anybody else? Uh, one more thing. I'm sorry, but um, when, when the person, uh, the artist, when she started talking, I started my, so I'm trying to figure out, is this just, I'm being empathic, but I'm getting it something more because I'm so, I'm back to like, I can't, first my jaw was aching so bad and now it's my gut and I feel like I'm going to throw up and I'm so tight. I've been trying to breathe through it thinking, okay, I'm just feeling her energy because it started, you know, like when you know, because so the, I would say I would uh, answer your question directly. I'd say you've been tricked into misusing your capacities. You, you're, you're, you're using. Taking you're, on other people's stuff tricked into. Uh, it's more on like you're crawling into their reality and playing in their crap. And then you leave a piece of you there. It's like uh, the newer. It's like, uh, what are all the, so back, back out of everybody, 
everybody you've connected into their reality. It's almost like you crawl into their their world to see what it's like. Just intend to back out and 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 let go and back out and let go and back out and let go and back out. What does that do? Feels lighter. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. So just a, that's, it's a misuse. It, that's like how a previous occupant would have done it. But the newer occupant doesn't need to crawl into their world to see it. The newer occupant can just kind of glance at their reality and get a full 360 by 360 view. It's, it's a misuse of, uh, you're trying to use two different tools jammed together and they, it doesn't work that way. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I, I get that. Just, yeah. yep. Cool. Thank you. That was so helpful. is there anybody who has not yet asked a question who is aching to ask a question? If not, Jaden is going to go have breakfast. Jaden, where are you these days? Say it again. Whereabouts are you? I am in Thailand. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Thailand decided that it was going to be nurturing for my body. And so I'm here. Excellent. Yeah. It's blueberry and tropical fruit time. Oh, yeah, 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 totally. Although the blueberries they get here are from Australia and uh, <laughs> else they can't blow, grow blueberries here. But tr other tropical fruits, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's blueberries there now. They're Bangles. awesome fruits, yeah. Yeah, 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 cool. Thanks so much for today. You're totally welcome. You're totally welcome. May I have a question, please? Please, yes. Yes, uh, I, I yawn a lot. Uh, when I clear and I facilitate. So even my, my jaw aches and like I dislocated it. Can you help me with this? Um, I don't have anything that immediately shows up, but I'm only focused right now on walk-in stuff. Um, yeah, I, without through the lens of walk-in, I don't see anything relevant to that. I would say it's something other than walk-in stuff that's creating that. Uh -huh. okay. I would have to Thank look you. at a deeper lens to look for that. The, the, my, quick, my quick answer would be that anytime you get physical, um, energetically intend to grab anything that doesn't feel good and just I gotta kind of do it like, just kind of pull it out along the jawline and throw it out and do that a couple of times. Grab anything that, doesn't feel good and just pull it out. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Anybody else who hasn't asked a question yet, who wants to? Hi, this is Marilyn. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I dozed off, so I think I have to catch the replay. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I feel there's a lot of this going on for me. Is there anything specific you pick up? that I missed. Uh, yeah. So how much yeah. is their baggage from previous occupants? How much is the baggage gone? Mostly gone. This tiny bit. Um, how much of their spirits from previous occupants still in the body? How much are they gone? Yeah. There's something in there. Yeah. There's something in yeah. there. And uh, how much are their corrupted occupants? Whoa. Yes. Whoa. Okay, Whoa. so how much are their non-corrupted occupants? So I would say you have a corrupted occupant in there. Um, yeah. And it's, uh, is it an inculcated occupant? Yeah. Is it, uh, is it a shove-in? Is it a slam-in? So it's inculcated with alien? Yeah. Uh -huh. So um, how much is it... Um, yeah, so what's the most direct way to get from where we are now to where we're seeking to be? Receive. Wow. 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 So, wow. Yeah, so this, um, this one is actually very clever. Um, it's, it's masked it and it's hidden it. The, you'll want to take the questions you want to be asking are around what was the original authentic 
occupant that got corrupted. So it's kind of like, it feels fractional. It feels like there's only mm -hmm. a third of it left. It feels eaten away. Honestly, they've been feeding on it. Um, it feels eaten away. You want to tap into the eaten away part. It, it's actually not an authentic. It's like a, is it a replicant? No. It doesn't feel like you but it, it feels like a being mm -hmm. and you want to clear, you want to, and it feels kind of like it's been hollowed out and it feels brain dead. Honestly, it feels like wow. something that's been in a hospital on life support and has six brain cells left and you want to connect with that and find out, um, what is everything you agreed you would do for them? They agreed they would do for you. What's the benefit or value? Not the benefit of value. Just of that. Clear that. Yeah. Then look for how the alien part has threaded itself through your time streams. Does that help? Wow. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Totally reads. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Thanks and it's, so it's, it's wound yeah. itself. But if you do the, yeah. if you do the, the collapsing synthetic mm -hmm. first and then do your collapsing and holding yours for a while to cleanse. That'll, that'll clear that. Okay. Okay. Thanks cool. so much. Play. Cool. Cool. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Anybody else? Just an idea. Maybe you should have like a rating for your calls. You know, it should be like parental guidance, or <laughs> angelic guidance. This is serious shit. <laughs> it's I, what I've I've ended up. Yeah, I've ended up just. It's like I'm gonna be me, and I'm gonna be real, and I'm gonna be flat out. And I've I've crossed over threshold. I stopped pretending to be. Uh, polite and gentle and delicate. I'm just going to lay it out. And you don't need Netflix or the sci-fi channel with that. <laughs> no, no, you don't No. And what's scary is it's real. <laughs> People are living it day in, day out. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to my world. <laughs> Welcome to Jaden's world. We can start a reality show. <laughs> we're not going to though. No. Anyone who's thinking of that? No, we're not going to. I refuse to do a reality show. Yeah. Anybody else? Last questions. Anybody who has not yet spoken or you're asked a question. Hi, Jaden. Hi. Hi. Um, thank you for all that information. Yeah. I won't ask about parasites. Uh, okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good and that I'm heading towards um, a, a new aspect possibly coming in. Um, I just wondered if you could feel how things are going for me. Yeah, so you know you're walking, right? Yes, yes. Okay, cool. So truth, how much is their baggage from previous occupants still in the body? How much is the old baggage gone? I'd say 60-40. 60% baggage still there, 40% gone. Um, okay. Uh, how much are their spirits from previous occupants owners still in the body? How much are they gone? I'd say there's one, two, three, two, two still there. Um, how much are there corrupted occupants shoving and slamming still in the body? Whoa. How much have they been removed? Somewhat neutralized, contained. Uh, I wouldn't uh -huh. say removed. Um, uh, how much do you have uh, shoving stuff? Wow. How much do you have slam and stuff? Uh, how much do you have demon core? Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I'd say so there's a shove in demon core. Um, you've contained it. You've isolated it. So it, it doesn't show itself so often, but you can't express the full capacity of you. Probably if you get into anger or get into energies that are edgy, it kind of the, demon stuff kind of jumps to the surface is that helpful uh yes oh definitely um i've done a lot of clearing and i thought that 
most of the anger had been. Yeah. Done, so, but... yeah. So it's not yours. So what it feels like is I feel a sense of containment. So right. it's contained. What you want to do is you want to get the demon core relocated out of your body. Right. Like, uh, so is the corrupted occupant still there? Or have you removed the corrupted occupant? It feels like you've removed the corrupted occupant. That one. Yeah. So um, just find the, the source of the demon core. It's like you just follow it down all the way to the bottom to the seat of it. I asked for the the seed of the demon core and like put on your, your radioactive gloves and, and relocate it off planet somewhere else that it's a contribution. Right. Like just get, okay. uh, get it out rather than containing it. Cause you, ha you can't be fully you or it breaks through containment and we yep. want you to be able to be fully you. So get rid of the, yeah, get rid of the core. Right. Can I do that with your ebook? No, you'll have to do it with what I just gave you here. You you right. have the capacity to do it all on your own. Right. Yeah. Okay. If you take the course, we'll do it automatically. But um, you have the capacity to do it. Yeah. Right. And I even okay. gave you the answer. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, Thank you welcome. very much. You're welcome. Cool. Great. Anybody else? Hi, Jaden. Hi. It's about mm -hmm. Um, I did a bunch of clearing and I was just wondering if there's anything left, if there's anything else that's required. Okay, so uh, how much is there baggage from previous occupants in the body? How much is the baggage gone? I'd say 20%, I, I'd say there's baggage that's been hidden, but not gone. Um, body, I'd say most of the baggage is still there and a chunk of it has been hidden to pretend it's not there. Um, so body, are there spirits of previous occupants owners still in the body? Or are they gone? That's a little blurry. So truth, how many occupants are there still in the body? It's hidden. So did you hide it or did someone else or something else hide it? Something else hid it? Um, I smell gods. I smell gods. So uh, how much were you uh, involved in corrupted occupants? Yeah. How many, oh, uh, are the corrupted occupants still in the body? Have they been removed? No, they've been hidden. So shove in, slam in, shove in. Then you got god stuff messing with you. So I'd say there's nothing cleared. There's or not, not, not nothing. There's still a lot of stuff there but there's a bunch of stuff that's been hidden okay. to make it seem like it's gone, but it's not. So you want to get under that and get all of that out. And there's gods okay. in there messing with you. They're hiding it. They, they like having control access to you and they're not willing to let that go. They have an, they have an inside. So you want to get them out. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Anybody else who hasn't? What are, what are gods? Uh, gods are non-physical energies that are kind of like fractured off pieces of the authentic universe that were created when the, the, the original prime creator of this reality first came in. It kind of there's some weird thing that caused it to create copies of itself. So they pretend to be the original creator. They're not. They run the religions of this world. There are gods, mm -hmm. there are Christian gods, there are, there are Hindu gods, those gods. And there are thousands and thousands and thousands of them. So that's like the dark replicas or clones of, of real gods or gods. Uh, to me, there are no dark replicas. They're all playing the same game. If you take any god, and I don't care which one, and I've looked at all of them that I can find, and I've looked, and you, you look at the front, the surface, the, the facade, and then you go back, they won't let you, but if you freeze them, 
and you can go back, you look at who's behind that and who's behind that and who was behind that. You go back like seven levels or eight or 10 with gods. You may have to go further. They have lots of layers of facade. Um, you'll find something that doesn't necessarily match what looks pretty upfront. Mm. I'm being, I'm being polite. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God for that. Thank God for that. <laughs> Amen. Jaden, I have a question. Yes. Uh, this is Sandra. Mm -hmm. And I experienced transient global amnesia a few years back. And I was wondering if that was like a walk. So tell me, what does that mean experience? to you? Only what they told me. <laughs> well, I, what the that, doctors told what me. Is, oh, so that's a medical diagnosis. Yeah, I lost all memory. And ended up in the hospital. It lasted for about 17 hours where I and apparently did you get it recognized back again? everybody. Uh, not the memory, no. None of it. So you, Only what people told me. So how much is that a walk-in? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, was there information in there? Holy shit. Wow. How much is it something else? Yeah, I would call it. Yeah, I would call that a walk-in. I call it a really, so how much is that a shove in? How much is that a slam in? There's something abnormal about it. There is something abnormal. It's been kind of weird ever since. And I would, yeah. do, do you, do you have a lot of wrongness going on? You make yourself wrong and you're always looking at what's right and wrong and good and bad. Well, so I, I, I always pod poc when I do that, but yeah, I, it's been a, yeah, a huge program. Okay. Uh, did you uh, get involved in false light at all? Well, New age? Absolutely. Of course. <laughs> all right. I get it. I get it. I get a God. I get a sense of shove in. It's like, so, how the heck do you think I found you? No, I'm just <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> the God sent you to me? Yes. <laughs> They're like, oh, praise Jesus. Go, go, go look at Jaden. He's. He's really godlike. <laughs> Maybe not. Um, the uh, yeah, I I'd, I'd say that that was that was a shove-in experience. There's a um, there's something really. I've I've not looked. I've not seen anything that looks exactly the way it looks when I look at what that is. But it's a it's a it's a walk-in shove-in. It's done in a different way. It's like an inside. What does it look like before? Does it look like after? It's like it's like coming from within and pushed up inside, forcing things to go out. I don't know. I'd have to sit with that a while to figure out what's how they did that. Um, yeah, there's something very different about that. Yeah, yeah. my daughter actually came and got me. Me uh, uh, mentally out of that she actually went into trance and okay got, me out. It got it okay wild. i see that okay yeah wow so there was something that they already had access god's already had anchoring in there that let them have other access you they hmm. they, they can't normally pull that off like that's i've i've not seen that before um yeah, I'd have to sit with that for a while. Uh, there's something. The, the the researcher in me is like, oh, something new, juicy. I want to take that apart. It's like, and my body's like, uh, we're going to have breakfast. Not today. Not today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do, do, so, do, yeah, cool. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for bringing Thanks. new stuff, new toys. Ah. <laughs> it's the researcher. What can I say? Yeah, cool. Thank yeah. you, Sandra. Okay. Anybody else who has not asked a question yet? Jaden? Yeah, um, I, I, I've had a couple of um, couple of walk-ins, um, and it seemed like uh, there was a slam-in attempt. But um, at some point, I just got really pissed off and said, "Go away," and it went away because um, it wasn't. So what that is so. Uh, I, so how much uh, have you undergone a shove-in? 
how much you've undergone a slam in, how much something else. I would say there was an effective shove in that was the slam in effective, partially effective, partially effective slam in. And the, that was someone trying to move in to the territory. Yeah. So, so it's like, that was them inviting their friends in <laughs> and you're standing at the door going, no, ow, no, no. But the, the, the there's there's still the core manipulation that's even giving them access to invite friends in you want to get rid of that so what do i do with that um you could either take the course or uh go through the ebook and you do the suggestions that i talked about before for uh how to get rid of the you separate the 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 authentic part of the being that was the manipulated part and clear that the normal way and then handle the core or the alien part. Oh, okay. So it's just seeing through, it's recognizing it's not one being that's alien or one being that feels like it's a God controlling or demon. Often they put in demons. Gods don't hang out in people usually, but um, it usually feels they install their demon minions um it's like the you you separate the demon from the pathetic piece of of being that was incorporated in and clear the being then you can handle this they're hiding behind the piece of authentic or semi-authentic walk-in that occurred so you need to see them as separate and then clear the walk-in. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Anybody else who has not yet asked a question? Hey, Jaden, it's Joe. It's hey, me. Joe. Hey, another of the many members of your 14er club here. Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah, yeah. What kind of read, just wonder what kind of read you get on me this time. Okay, so um, truth is there baggage from previous occupants still in the body, or is that baggage gone? Uh, there's baggage there, yeah. Um, yeah. Are there spirits from previous occupants still in the body? Ooh, wow. And how much are they gone? No. Uh, one, two, three, oh, four. Makes me want to cry. The third one makes me want to cry. Um, I'd say there are three, three spirits there. Um, one of them is desperately wants to die. Um, so you have death stuff coming up. Oh yeah. 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 It's, it's, yeah. Okay. Uh, and then how much are there corrupted occupants shove in slam in still in the body? How much have they been removed? That one's really blurry. I don't get a strong read on it. I get a little question mark. I would need to clear the first stuff. It's so the emotionally visceral, right. powerful, I can't access the, the other one at this moment. So um, I would clear the, the, uh, the previous spirits and baggage out first. All right, thank you. And the class will teach me how to do that? Uh, the class will start next week. Awesome, I will be there. Yeah, we'll start doing that next week. Yeah, cool, good to have you. Thank, thank you. Cool. Thank you, yeah. Anybody else who has not yet um, Ask the like question. Very, if possible, I am absolutely open to it. Okay. Anybody else? Hello. Hello. Aiden? Yeah, Alexander. Yes. You've you've asked a lot of questions already, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say no in favor of my body eating breakfast. <laughs> you can email me if you've got a question. Okay. So anybody else? Okay. Well, thank you, everybody, who came and uh, played and explored with us today. Um, so I will send you an email with those links again for the, if you want to take the course. Um, again, the ebook that you have has tons of information in it. I designed it so that anybody who's aware could use that book to dig out. So that's, that's why 
I gave such a, a, a colleague is like, hey, you could be charging a lot of money for this. It's a lot of good information. I'm like, I know, but I want people to be able to dig out uh, if they have the meat, the awareness to do that. Um, so if you want to take the, the course, uh, I'll send you links to this. If you want to type it in, you can type it jadenfox.com slash walk. <laughs> it's a shortcut that will take you to the store. Um, and this would be, uh, we'll start next week. It's three to four calls. I'm not sure how much it's going to take yet to get everybody and everything clear. And then if you're a facilitator or a healer, um, you go to the slash FAC um, and that you'll get those same calls and you'll get three additional calls and another ebook that give you everything you need to be hundred percent successful with your clients in seeing, perceiving and clearing their walk in tangles so that you can get to what you came here to do. It's like every healer facilitator has a thing that they're here to do. And if you have a client who's tangled in walking stuff, their life is locked down. They just can't do shit. So if you can clear that first, then you can take people to where you're meaning to take them. So um, that's, it empowers you to do what you came here to do. So uh, if either of those are uh, a thing for you, by all means, do sign up for that. And if not, Jaden's losing his voice. So <laughs> thank you all for coming and playing today. And um, yeah, thank you for being bold and brave and being willing to look at all this kind of stuff. And it is kind of stuff. I'll do one last clearing. What is everything that's upper active that we can let me mute here? Uh, what is everything upper active that we can? Uh, just push into the pile, grab all that in the pile and uh, everything blocking or preventing awareness in the pile and way out front. So your body relaxes and everything from down below, back behind, up above, way out front, from the left, from the right, everything from inside the body, head to toe in the pile and everything that you stored in the planet in the pile and Tell your body and planet, body, planet, let all that go. Not you, not yours, not you, not yours. Let it go, let it go, let it go. And if it's not letting go, remind, uh, say it out loud. Body, let that go, not you, not yours. Planet, let that go, not you, you, yours. You have my permission to let that go, meaning your permission to let it go and do it now. There we go. And then encapsulate all that stuff, picture like a big marble. And then we're just going to keep shrinking that down. And smaller, smaller, half, 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 And smaller, 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 Until it's less than nothing. And it ceases to exist. And everything remaining, big ball of flame. Vaporize. And cool. And all the remaining exploiters, tricksters, corruptors, pre tag, print caps it all, free step and trace, scan a deal, and out, banish anchors, out, banish anchors, out, banish anchors, out, banish. And thank you all for coming and um, keep clearing. You really can get back to you. It really, really is possible. Just got to keep digging. Use your awareness. You can do this. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna